What is going on everyone? Trust the buzz here if you're new to the channel. I make Charlotte Hornets content, so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how the Charlotte Hornets went from the four to two in the NBA draft lottery. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to get Victor Wimbayama because the Spurs just put, they rigged it. The Spurs just rigged it. Because I, I, I just something told me that the Spurs were going to end up with the number one overall pick. I just felt it in my bones. So I, I, I get it. But the Charlotte Hornets got number two, which if you know anything about this draft class, it is a you could say three man draft, even though you know who's going one, you sh and then two and three is up in the air for me. I know who's going two, and then there's Brandon Miller to me at three. So, I mean, what? Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you feel right now, because I know we weren't able to get Victor Wembanyama, but at this point, we are solidified to get Scoot. Henderson, who I think is a great fit next to LaMelo, maybe not height. I know we want to put like a bigger guard uh, next to LaMelo, but we're not getting that. However, we're getting just an aggressive player who plays aggressive on both ends of the ball. He plays with a certain tenacity that a lot of players don't have. He just has that. He literally has that dog in him. He is just an exciting player to watch. He's extremely athletic. He's definitely going to fit in with the team. He does need to work on his shot, I will say, uh, but he's not that bad of a playmaker. Uh, he reminds me a lot of John Wall. He's just shorter. But the way he attacks the basket is something that the Charlotte Hornets desperately need. I think it's going to be a killer one-two combo with LaMelo and Scoot Henderson. I think this definitely does something to either James Booknight or Terry Rozier, which is a conversation we may have at another time. But I, I'm elated with having Scoot Henderson. I think that Scoot is, he's, I mean, easily the second best player in the draft. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the Charlotte Hornets don't mess it up and pick Brandon Miller. I just hope. I just hope they do not mess it up and pick Brandon Miller. Please don't do that. Uh, we'll take Scoot Henderson any day of the week. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's just like my initial reaction is just being so excited that we have someone who I think truly does pair so well with LaMelo. Probably one of the best pairings we were going to get out of this draft class just because a lot of things that LaMelo doesn't do, Scoot does. And then also I just, for the culture, he is a very, he reminds me a lot of Dennis Smith Jr. If we're comparing him to someone on our team. I mean, I, even in before the lottery, they're competitive to Russell Westbrook. That's what his competitive spirit is like. And we need that. Yes, we need that so bad in Charlotte. So um, it, it just, it, it goes beyond the court. Uh, getting Scoot Henderson. I mean, obviously, you know, I will come up with a billion type of videos that come out from now until the draft, but I, we know we're getting Scoot, and I think that is does something to the rest of the draft as well. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know who you think is better between Scoot and Brandon. I know Brandon could be probably the better fit to the team, but to me, Scoot is just the better player. It, it is what it is. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.